Welcome everybody to the second episode of Planet Zoo. We are logging in today, uh, so uh, every day you log in you get a hundred conservation points to use for animals in your zoo. If you are just joining us, uh, this is episode number two. Episode number one is in the playlist that is linked in the description below. I hope you check that out and follow us through. We are playing franchise mode and we have a scorpion in here and some centipedes. The centipede was here last day. There's our centipede. Creepy little dude, but that'll work out. Giant centipede. And then we also have our uh, hairy desert scorpion over here somewhere. He was hanging out on one of these branches before. And I'm not going to go too far into uh, a recap of what we did in episode one. Because I believe that you just go back and watch episode one if you want to see what happened. So uh, there he is. He's in his little hiding place. Look at him. Hanging out in the uh, little rock hiding place there. Nice. And then we have our uh, lone boa constrictor hanging out on a rock as well. He will have a mate in the very near future. So if you're just joining us, you just found us, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. And uh, please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the content. Is I want to set our vet research. We got to start uh, researching some of the stuff so we can start increasing happiness and uh, education of our animals. Uh, so I just put our only vet uh, starting to research the hairy scorpion. Oh, look at that. Our vet research is already complete. The vet will automatically go into the next level of research. All right, guys, we have our uh, giant desert hairy scorpion. The second level of research is uh, set up. There, actually, that was our third level, so we only have a couple more levels to go. Uh, we're just going to let this vet uh, keep researching this, and then we'll move on to the other uh, two animals. Oh, looks like we've had a hairy scorpion baby. So let's uh, let's go take a look in here. Too many for one habitat, so we have to look at the animals, and I'm going to have to go to the Zoopedia and see how many we can have in here. We have eight in here? Now we have a centipede expecting offspring. We are uh, going like crazy here. Socially, social welfare is good. This Oh, the size is too large. So we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take a couple of these, and uh, we're gonna box them up. Pause this before this gets out of hand. With the game on pause, we have uh, started to sort out our animals before it got too out of hand. Um, we did get one of these research uh, on the hairy scorpion completed, uh, all five levels. So the next thing we're going to do: put the veterinarian on the centipede and uh, let her do her thing on there. That will allow us to improve our layout and allow us to put the rock in that exhibit. So the next thing we have to do while we're paused here is figure out which animals are going to stay and which ones are going to go. Um, this is a way to make money in the zoo. Uh, we have had babies. We cannot release them into the wild because they're too young, but we can sell them back into the marketplace uh, with a quick trade. So that's is what we're going to do so we don't get overcrowded. So Natasha and uh, Walcott are both adopted and they're staying. Uh, they're here for good. Zoe was a captive birth. All the rest were captive birth. So these were our original two. The other four are uh, we're still in here. We still have three. We have three uh, females and two males. So something tells me these things are going to breed like crazy and we're going to be overrun by these. That so. should take care of our scorpions. Um, we're down to three animals. We have two females and a male in there. The next thing we are going to look at is the centipede and the animals here. So let's take a look at that in the zoo. We are, have the ability to move them back, or we can actually sell them off. Now we have another hairy scorpion um, expecting offspring, and we can just go through here and uh, do a quick trade. Part of one of the ways to make money in the zoo game. So as we did that, Another animal is pregnant now. We have Zoe the hairy scorpion, captive birth. She is pregnant right now. And uh, we're expecting another batch of scorpions to come flying through here. Everyone. So now I think we can get our uh, boa constrictor a mate. We have a female boa constrictor. That's what we have. We need a fertile male boa constrictor. And there we go. We'll adopt that one. Alina. Or Alina, we're going to move right into here. The keeper will bring her over. Then the keeper, uh, I hope, is going to go feed our uh, scorpions because they need uh, fed and watered. 
We are going to uh, hire a mechanic so we can work on... We'll go into zoo. We're going to go into mechanic research, and we're going to start working on the New World theme. We'll let Mitchell Adams take care of that. He's going to start working on our scenery. That will allow us to make our buildings a little bit better, a little bit nicer, and then we'll be able to fix this when we do have some uh, money. Education. Increase the education rating 10%. Looks like we did that. Very nice. Check out our mechanic research. I'm kind of curious on how that's going to go. I don't want to go too crazy. Mechanic research. 368 items open up once uh, he's done with this first level of research. And then they start working on other um, items as well, including wall components and all the things that we can open up to make the uh, zoo a little bit more pretty than just wooden slat buildings, which is really what I'm looking to do. This game has a ton of detail. Really enjoyable. We do have a few things going on. Some of our vet research is uh, in the process. Um, we're going to take a look and see what the vet has done. He, they are working on the Amazon Giant Centipede. Oh, we have the Amazon Giant Centipede is completely researched, so we can upgrade their habitat nicely. And then what we will do now is put the vet on the boa constrictor because we have the giant desert hairy scorpion and the Amazon Giant Centipede fully researched. So let's go ahead and uh, research the boa constrictor and now we will be able to upgrade their habitat so they are good as well. So let's take the drag and drop the vet onto here. All right, so we've got offspring in here now, which is uh, the centipede. We have uh, an alert. So we're going to pause the game because it uh, is giving us an alert. We have too many centipedes in here. If we go into the Zoopedia, our group size can only be one to two. We have double that in here now. What we're going to do is we have Marco here, young adult. Yeah, we have too large of a population. Uh, we have four giant centipedes in this exhibit, and uh, we're only really, uh, they only want to live with two. So we are going to take two of the newborns out. Uh, before we do that, though, we are going to fix this layout issue we have. Uh, so let's go to the layout. We can do a long tree trunk in there, and now they're happier. And then, because we have researched all this, and this comes with the enrichment levels, we can throw in different things to make them very happy. So now they're loving their layout. Now everything's good. So the only thing that they are uh, not happy with right now is the social health because of the group size. So we are going to go ahead and take care of that right now. I did decide to add a new exhibit. So we did start to rearrange the uh, exhibit hall here. Uh, I wanted to try to squeeze one in. I tried a couple of different areas to try to squeeze one in. Ultimately, you'll see here that it does not work. It showed through the outside of that building, so I deleted it. And then we went and rearranged the third, uh, the boa constrictor exhibit. Here we just are trying to line it up so paths aren't between the two exhibits on the inside there. And uh, we move the education board and the education speaker, and we move up. With that one exhibit rearranged, I now started to reconfigure the path so all of the exhibits could be accessed by the path. And then we went ahead and put in the fourth exhibit, the new exhibit, along that front wall. And a little bit of path work here to doctor up the ways the paths look and to reconnect everything, and we were all set to go. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, let's take... Uh, male and a female out of here Rosa Maria she's going here and we'll move Felipe back over here as well uh, I believe we have too many animals in here as well we have five females the only thing we can't do is sell the animals that we originally procured and adopted that's the only thing we cannot do so we're gonna unpause the game for a second and we will see how this goes so far Low welfare, oh, that's because we haven't set his exhibit up yet, silly me. Let's uh, go take a look, see what we gotta do here. Centipede is not happy. There we go, 29, now they're good. All right, next layout. Go over here, we'll give him a broken hollow log, we'll give him a nice thin smooth branch and a, now nah, you know what, we'll give him a large rock pile. Eh? Um, we will leave this back window. And we're going to make that a 3D facade on the back. 
Now these guys should be happy. But we are in decent shape right now. We did put a spend three thousand dollars to put in another exhibit, but in the long run, that's going to allow us to breed more centipedes. And uh, let's head over to the trading center. Our exhibit animal storage. We are going to make two thousand dollars right now by selling the scorpions that we bred. We're back up to twelve thousand. We've almost made back our money from the new exhibit already. Do have our keeper running around here. He seems to be a little bit upset. He could do some rest. He says there's a lot to do, but you know what? Sometimes you got to do more than what you're supposed to do. We're, uh, we'll get another caper here in a little while. Alina the boa constrictor just had an offspring. That's good. Our vet research is complete for the boa constrictor. Timely. Our boa constrictor habitat. Social health. Let's go over to the zoopedia. The boa constrictor. Only wants a group size of one to two, and there's now three in there. Let's fix our layout. We'll throw a tropical plan in there, make them a little happier. And then once we get level uh, two and three, we'll open those up as well. Let's go ahead and take Alina and move her to the trade storage. Our animal storage. And uh, right away, we can make $634. We're going to go ahead and trade her off $630. Or the zoo, we're up to 14,000 now. People are coming in, they're happy. Uh, oh, you know what, we need an education board here. Exhibit education board we need right here. And we need to make this for the centipede. There we go. So over here is the mechanic research. And I started this uh, before at the beginning of this episode. We're gonna click on this. And uh, we did start looking at the New World theme. And this is kind of what I wanted to do before we went uh, too far into building the zoo because I wanted to use these uh, themes. And uh, this is how you open them up in the franchise mode. We've opened up 368 items. The mechanic will continue to research the New World theme if I don't pull them off of it. And we will continue to get more and more things from the New World theme. And let's go ahead and we will look at the theme new world and these are now our items that we can get we have a ton of different things opaque walls opaque uh, glass walls we also have horizontal wooden planks these I believe are much nicer than those so we will be able to do uh, nicer buildings next time uh, when we go so that's kind of why I'm using a couple episodes to do some research and get some money in the bank here so we can make a nicer zoo as we move along uh, not just a large zoo and then playing catch up later on I think we are going to hire another keeper. We do have four exhibits here. We don't want our animals dying off, so let's hire a staff. Throw another keeper down. Yep, that's right. Drag you around. Whoa, where are you going to go, guy? Where are you going to go? Throw him right here. Yep. Be careful. Get yourself hurt. So I think we figured out how to make some money with the game uh, in franchise mode. Giant Centipede is expecting more, so... You can see how this could get overwhelming, which is where the contraceptives come in. Inspectors arriving in 10 months. Our vet research we'll take a look at here. For the boa constrictor, they're continuing on. Now uh, we got another hairy scorpion expecting offspring. And now we have a boa constrictor expecting offspring. Now we better go to the exhibit trading. So we're gonna quick trade those for $3,400. They're gonna be gone. I know this series isn't starting off quite so exciting. There's a lot of breeding of small animals and trying to make a little bit of money here and there, but trust me, hang around. This will be a uh, exciting zoo franchise. We will be getting to habitats on the next episode. We're going to start our flamingo habitat. As always, let me know in the comments below what you think uh, we should put in the zoo. This is just as much your zoo as mine. I'm building it with you, and I will definitely take your comments, criticisms, suggestions, and all sorts of things in the comments below. Please don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and tap the notifications bell. If this is your first time here, don't forget to join the community discord and check out the links in the description below. You can also find this Planet Zoo series playlist popping up on your screen right now, in addition to another option of varied content that I have on the channel. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you on the next episode of Planet Zoo.